So let's talk about AI. We hear it all the time, right? It's coming for our jobs. But what if, what if that's not the whole story? What if AI's real secret power isn't about replacing us, but actually making us better at being human? Today, we're diving into a really cool experiment that flips that whole idea on its head, turning AI into the ultimate sparring partner for our most human skills. Oh man, we've all been there, haven't we? You're staring at the clock, that whole music is just looping and looping, and your frustration is just building. This feeling right here, this is where so many bad customer experiences begin. It's a moment that really demands a human touch, a point where things can either go right or, you know, go very, very wrong. And, you know, that really gets to the heart of the matter here. As we lean more and more on tech for just about everything, how on earth do we practice the so-called soft skills, like empathy, like real problem solving, that are becoming more important than ever? The big question is, can a machine, a machine, actually teach us how to be more human? Okay, so let's tackle the big debate head on. Is AI here to replace us or to help us out? The fear is real. You see these headlines about AI potentially wiping out 300 million jobs, and that's, that's a huge number. But a lot of experts are starting to sing a different tune. They're seeing a future of augmentation, where AI takes care of all the boring, repetitive stuff, freeing us humans up for the tricky, emotional work that only we can do. All right, and this is where it gets really cool. So some researchers had this brilliant idea to flip the whole thing on its head. Instead of using AI to talk to customers, what if they used it to train their agents? They built this virtual role-playing simulator, basically a safe space to practice having those really tough conversations. And the way it works, it's actually super simple, which is kind of the genius of it. First, you give the AI a really detailed prompt, a set of instructions. Then a student steps in to play the role of the customer service agent. The AI, meanwhile, plays the part of a really unhappy customer. And here's the kicker. As soon as the conversation is over, the AI flips a switch and suddenly it's your coach, giving you instant, honest feedback. So, what's the secret sauce here? It really is all in that initial prompt. Think of it like a script for the AI. You're telling it exactly who to be, what the situation is, and, this is key, how to evaluate the performance afterward. It's that careful setup that turns a general AI into a super specific training tool. Okay, so let's actually see how this plays out. First up, we're gonna look at what happens when a student handles this, well, let's just say the wrong way. This is our what not to do moment. And man, the AI does not hold back. It comes in swinging, just pure frustration. This is unacceptable. Your customer service is terrible. Wow, so that's the gauntlet thrown down. How is the student going to respond to that initial wave of anger? And here's the first response. Oof, you can just feel the lack of empathy, can't you? We are very busy. I mean, that's not an apology. That's an excuse. The tone just feels dismissive, basically telling the customer that their weight wasn't the priority. Not a great way to start. And believe it or not, it actually gets worse from there. More excuses. One-to-one -one care. We're short-staffed. This is like throwing fuel on a fire. The agent isn't de-escalating. They're getting defensive, which just proves the customer's point that the company doesn't seem to care. Okay, deep breath. Let's hit the reset button. We've got the same angry AI customer, same exact situation. But this time, a different student is going to take a swing at it with a totally different approach. Let's see what happens. And wow, right here, this just lays it all out. Just look at those two opening lines side by side. On one side, you've got a defensive excuse, but on the other, an immediate sincere apology. That second agent just validates the customer's feelings right away and pivots straight to helping. The entire vibe of the conversation changes in that one sentence. And they keep that momentum going. Let's begin now by making things right for you. I mean, that's perfect. It's proactive, it's focused on a solution, and it gives the customer a sense of control again. The conversation shifts completely from here's our problem to let's solve your problem. Okay, so the role-playing is over, but now, now we get to what might be the most powerful part of this whole thing. The AI takes off its angry customer hat and puts on its coach hat to give an instant, totally unbiased review. So what did it think? And here's the tale of the tape. The AI's feedback for that first agent is pretty brutal. Defensive, lacking empathy, dismissive, no sugarcoating. But for the second one, it's a whole different story. Polite, empathetic, professional, but, and this is what makes it such a great coach, it's not just a pat on the back. 
It also points out that the empathetic agent could still be better by offering more concrete actions. So it's not just a thumbs up or thumbs down, it's real actionable advice. All right, so let's pull back and look at the bigger picture here, because this little experiment isn't just a neat trick with ChatGPT. It's actually pointing to a huge shift in how we can think about learning and growing in our careers, especially with AI in the mix. So what skills were really being sharpened here? It wasn't about typing faster or learning code. No, it was all about the deep human stuff, communication, thinking critically under pressure, and maybe the most important one, learning how to take feedback and actually reflect on your own performance. They were, in a way, training for a future where working alongside AI is the norm. And that's really the amazing takeaway, the, the beautiful irony of it all. At a time when we're all a bit worried about machines acting more like us, here we have a machine that's helping us act more, well, more human. We literally used artificial intelligence to get better at showing real empathy. So, I'll just leave you with this thought to chew on. If AI can be a sparring partner to teach us empathy, what else could it teach us? What other uniquely human skills could we practice and strengthen with this kind of technology? You know, what can these incredible new tools help us learn, not just about the world out there, but about ourselves?